Have you ever examined whether we're genuinely alone in the universe? Or, on the other hand, if there's something else to our reality other than anything that we see? Imagine a circumstance in which the James Webb Telescope at last shows that we live inside a black hole. Join us as we figure out more about this world, letting it be known that will make you question all that you expected you had some cognizance of the universe. So, what exactly are black holes? They're like something out of a horror movie. Sure, you could have seen them in science fiction films, but altogether more upsetting is that they're not simply as shown by subject matter experts. Completely, black holes in space are, in reality, huge extents of matter gotten into an unimaginably minimal area. Think about a star on different occasions more massive than the sun, all packed into a circle the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is so extreme that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Experts have been hypnotized by black holes for quite some time. From there on, they considered objects in space so enormous and thick that they could trap light. The most notable ideas concerning black holes were proposed by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Basically, right now, when a colossal star dies, it leaves behind a minute-thick core. If this core's mass is several times that of the sun, gravity overpowers everything else, leading to the formation of a black hole. Detecting black holes is no simple task since they radiate no light. However, researchers have tracked down ways to decipher their presence by observing their effects on nearby matter. For instance, if a black hole passes through a cloud of interstellar matter, it'll pull matter towards it in a process called accretion. Moreover, when a normal star gets too close to a black hole, it can get destroyed, emitting X-rays as it does so. Black holes also have a significant influence on their surroundings. They can consume nearby stars, produce strong gamma rays, and even affect the formation of new stars in specific regions while suppressing it in others. At any rate, where do black holes come from? Picture this. Stars, once bright and shining, meet their violent end in a massive explosion called a supernova. From the remains of these fallen giants, black holes arise. Most black holes are formed from massive stars that have reached the end of their life cycle in a supernova. However, really small stars, when they die, transform into something many refer to as neutron stars, which are incredibly dense but not dense enough to trap light. However, if a star is several times the mass of our sun, it collapses under its own gravitational force, illustrating a black hole. As these massive stars collapse, something extraordinary occurs close to their surfaces. Time itself starts to play tricks. From the perspective of someone far away, Time appears to slow down near the event horizon, the last defining moment for anything falling into a black hole. It's like the star's clock ticks at a different speed compared to our own. Occasionally, when two smaller black holes collide, they merge to form a significantly larger and more terrifying black hole. If a black hole interacts with a neutron star, they create a colossal nightmare that defies understanding. Researchers have been grappling with the size of these infinite phenomena for a long time. Black holes come in two sizes, massive and small. There's a treacherous secret surrounding them, however, that we really can't ignore. Here's the twist. Small is relative when it comes to black holes. Supermassive black holes, remnants of massive stars, can be as large as 10 billion times the size of the sun. There could be as many as 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That is a vast number of black holes that could swallow anything in their path. But wait, there's something else. Very massive black holes are at the outer limits of the spectrum. They're millions, if not billions, of times larger than the Sun. They exist at the center of massive galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It looks like an enormous dead space that is pulling everything towards it. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking discussed black holes throughout his life. His theories were mostly well-founded. However, some of his ideas proved impossible to confirm due to a lack of relevant technology. Yet, there's hope on the horizon, not too far off. A single legitimate instrument is changing everything. It goes by the name of the James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, and it's here to dive into the depths of our universe. Let me tell you, the JWST is no conventional telescope. It's an engineering marvel a testament to human ingenuity. Sure, we've launched other space telescopes before and they've been doing their jobs well, but this incredible machine is on a level that is truly unprecedented. 
the JWST makes the Hubble, which has reliably served us for a significant time, look like a simple piece in the universe. The retail price of this cosmic wonder is an astonishing $1 billion. Yes, you heard that right. That's a staggering number of zeros to make your head turn. It took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this miracle to life, alongside huge contributions from over 300 universities. But we shouldn't forget the risks that come with such a monumental endeavor. I realize this isn't a project for the faint of heart. The JWST is venturing into an uncharted world, pushing the boundaries of what we know and taking us to places we've only dreamed of. Following a successful launch, NASA has recently announced that the telescope has enough fuel to last several times its initial mission life expectancy. Since its launch, the JWST has made numerous incredible achievements. It traveled over a million miles to reach its orbit around the Sun, where it will reside indefinitely. During its journey, the telescope successfully deployed its massive five-layer sunshield and enormous primary mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit onto the launch vehicle. Now, later, NASA has calibrated and adjusted it, and the telescope is essentially ready for full operation. Possibly one of the most thrilling aspects of the James Webb Space Telescope was when NASA announced it had captured its first significant images of starlight. The first picture taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446, revealing a pair of 18 dispersed bright spots from the star's light collected by the 18 mirror segments arranged on the primary mirror. NASA later released another truly astonishing image of HD 8446, in which 18 unfocused duplicates of the star were combined in a purposeful hexagonal pattern. Once the observatory fine-tunes the individual segments of the primary mirror, it will begin the image stacking process, overlaying 18 images on top of one another into one clear view. Thanks to its sophisticated technology, the JWST will assist researchers in exploring the early stages of the universe after the Big Bang. It will focus on what occurred after the first stars formed, a period known as the Epoch of Reionization. This epoch refers to when neutral hydrogen was reionized or made to have an electric charge again by radiation from these first stars. This involves looking back billions of years, which is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. The telescope will also help scientists discover exoplanets, which are extremely hard to detect because of how they interact with their host stars. Powerful observations can indeed see these planets in greater detail, allowing researchers to analyze their atmospheres, deciphering the conditions necessary for life. The JWST's capabilities can help experts better predict whether specific planets are habitable. Separated from focusing on the formation of galaxies, researchers study universes to understand how matter is formed on a massive scale. This, in turn, allows us to comprehend how the universe evolved. The winding and spiral galaxies we see today formed over billions of years from various shapes. One of the JWST's objectives is to look back at the earliest galaxies to better understand that evolution. Investigators are also trying to determine how we got the mixture of galaxies that are visible today and the ongoing ways galaxies structure and accumulate. However, fundamentally, the James Webb Space Telescope will help us address the most critical questions of all. Are we alone in the universe? Are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has already been on the hunt and ponder what it has found compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, lurking around those enormous black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based particles with ring-like structures seem to be the goth of the universe. They're found everywhere, from distant galaxies to comets in our solar system. Now, they're not just fascinating because they could form building blocks of life, but also because they help scientists trace star formation. When bright radiation hits these PAHs, they become excited and emit infrared light, a signal that can be detected by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, also known as MIRI. Furthermore, that's typically an indication that there are some hot, energetic stars nearby. But hold on for the surprising twist. A daring astrophysicist, Ismail Garcia Bernard from Oxford University, decided to examine three intriguing galaxies known as NGC 6502, NGC 731, the creepily remarkable Stefan's Quintet, and NGC 749. These structures are many light years away in the depths of obscurity. 
Now, what Garcia Bernard found will make your hair stand on end. In those central regions where the black holes dominate, he observed an abundance of PAHs. Sounds fascinating, right? Well, here's where it gets chilling. The radiation near those extraordinarily massive black holes reshaped the Pa's true composition, transforming them into larger, electrically neutral forms of themselves. The smaller, electrically charged PAHs evaporated into oblivion being consumed by the very darkness. However, there's a glimmer of hope. The larger PHs managed to survive because they found refuge within thin, dense gas clouds. It's like they found their own protective shelter against the wrath of the black hole's pull. Now, you might ask why this dark twist matters. Well, you see, it's fundamentally a concern for space experts who rely on PHs to trace. Star formation. Star-forming regions will often be completely inundated with electrically charged PAHs. And if those particles are annihilated near the black hole's vicinity, tracing where those stars are forming becomes a real challenge. Fear not. Our dedicated space professionals aren't backing down. Garcia Bernard and his team are eager to dive deeper into this dark abyss. They want to explore additional galaxies, each with its unique twist, to uncover the mysteries of how these incredible PAHs survive in such conditions. They remain determined to elucidate the specific properties of PAHs lurking inside the black hole's assault zones in galaxies. And hey, that knowledge is the key to understanding star formation and how these eerie galaxies evolve over time. At any rate, there's one more revelation made by the James Webb Space Telescope that takes the cake. Prepare for some spine-chilling news because the JWST has identified what could be the most ancient black hole in the universe. This colossal beast is an exceptionally large black hole weighing a staggering 10 million times more than the sun. The JWST managed to identify it by detecting faint glimmers of light that date back to the very beginning of time itself. This faint, ominous discovery was found at the center of a young galaxy just 570 million years after the universe was formed. And get this, cosmologists believe that there could be even earlier black holes lurking in the depths of space. It's fascinating yet astonishing to think about what other horrors could be waiting out there, ready to be discovered. One thing is for certain. The James Webb Space Telescope is giving us a glimpse into the darkest corners of the universe, and the things we're uncovering are absolutely breathtaking. The discovery of the oldest black hole in the universe has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. This colossal beast could very well be one of many black holes that existed during the infancy of the first light, a period that began around 100 million years after the Big Bang when the universe was merely a billion years old. Cosmologists are bewildered by the sheer number of these black holes and how they grow to such titanic sizes. Though the researchers who discovered the latest black hole published their findings on the preprint server AR-14, the assessment is yet to be peer-reviewed. Lead researcher Rebecca Larson, an astrophysicist at the University of Texas at Austin, believes that there could be many more black holes waiting to be discovered. She expressed that the James Webb Space Telescope is allowing us to look into vast history in a way that was previously unimaginable. Furthermore, she's eager to see what else we'll uncover as the JWST is poised to reveal the immense mysteries of the universe. Who can say with certainty what other mind-bending cosmic surprises await us in the vast expanse of space? The universe is filled with privileged experiences just waiting to be unraveled. With each new revelation, we inch closer to uncovering its dark and astonishing secrets. As we delve deeper into the universe, black holes continue to reveal the intricate complexities of our cosmos. Their formation isn't simply a consequence of dying stars. They can also emerge from the merger of neutron stars and other massive objects. This exchange of celestial bodies leads to critical phenomena like gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime detected by observatories like LIGO. These waves provide insights into the violent processes occurring in the universe, including the events that create black holes. The quest to understand black holes also intersects with the search for dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe's mass, yet remains elusive to current observational methods. Some experts theorize that primordial black holes formed shortly after the Big Bang could represent dark matter. If true, this connection could offer a pathway to unraveling one of the universe's most profound mysteries. However, 
The James Webb Space Telescope is not limited to studying black holes. It may also observe the atmospheres of exoplanets in exquisite detail. By analyzing the light that filters through a planet's atmosphere as it transits in front of its star, scientists can identify chemical signatures indicating the presence of water, methane, and perhaps even signs of life. The JWST's infrared capabilities allow it to peer further back in time than ever before, capturing light from the earliest galaxies and stars. This ability makes a significant difference. Researchers are eager to understand galaxy formation, while also providing a window into the conditions that led to the universe we inhabit today. As we continue to push the boundaries of our understanding, the relationship between black holes and the structure of the universe remains an enticing mystery. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the fundamental nature of reality, revealing a universe that is undeniably more astonishing and interconnected than we ever imagined.